I'm going to show you in this video how to program the Intelli 10 timer here and um, all the same program lines is also what you have on an Ambition and basically any Intelli 10. It's the Intelli 10 uh, protocol setup. There's some newer ones out now. But basically, any older equipment being a classic series Ergoline or, like I said, the Ambition, a Sundash machine, a, uh, except for the 332. But so you have a lot of equipment that's using this exact same uh, setup here that I'm going to show you right now. I'm going to do it here on our Sundash 232, which is a very, very common machine out there. A fantastic buy on the used market they up for just yeah very little and you have a, a tanning bed for for life right so to enter the programming mode what we're gonna have to do is hit our time up and down key to make the two dots that you saw there go away once you're in this mode you press reset that will make it start flashing. The display will flash now, as you see. And then you hit the time key, and what we want to get up to is 102. Once you're on the 102, press reset once, start once, that's it. And you're in programming mode. The very first line that we go into is per, uh, parameter 2. You saw that it had just a quickly it showed uh, PO2. What that is is the alarm. When you hear when I touch this it says beep 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 beep. You can remove that so that the machine becomes silent. Uh, most people prefer to have it on so you know if the, the keypad here is responding or not. So, but you were able to make it silent by going into that parameter. Let me show you how. So we're on PO2 and we can see that it's for one. That means that the alarm mode or the beep mode is activated. By hitting reset, it will start flashing. So now we can, with the time key, change that parameter, reset to store it. Now, if that was the only thing that we wanted to do, just hit start a couple of times, and that will make it reboot. The L33 shows the version. So if you have a machine that's stuck on L33, that means that something in the boot is not, uh, is not finishing. So that could either be your uh, main chip on the main board, or it could be that the main board is defective. And so now we're silent. So pretty cool. So, but let's get back into a programming mode and let's put our alarm back on. So again, time up and down. So the dots go away. I press on reset to um, make it start flashing. And then we go up to 102. Reset. Start. And here we are. And then it was reset to change. And reset to store. Okay. So let's move to let's move to our next parameter here. This is our after cooling delay. Right now it's set for two minutes, um, which is just fine. It in a busy tanning salon, I would certainly put it to three. Um, in a home, it basically doesn't even matter if you have it on. But let's just give it a little bit. Um, so that's the amount of time once the session has ended. That it will still cool down the machine and so 
with the time key up, we go to our next parameter, session delay. The session delay is for a tanning salon. So that means that once you set time from the system, from your TMAX system or IntelliTan system, this is a system that can set time to the machine. It will go into a delay uh, where the person has, the, the tanner has a time to get undressed and put lotion on and so forth until that uh, the machine will start by itself or the time will start counting down. Uh, kind of to move things along and so this one is set for 10 it's just so you can see how we can change data here let's set, set that down to 3 not that we're gonna use it as a matter of fact very important let's take it completely away because you don't need the session delay at all. It would actually be nice if we just came in, set our time, and hit the start button. So let's remove it completely by going to zero. Store it. Bam. All right, on to our next. That is the room number on this digital uh, TMAX on Teletan system. So that this bed will now say, in this case here, it will say, Hey, I'm bit number nine, so it's nothing to do with where wire-wise it's connected. Clean room feature. So this one is also something for as a home unit that you will want to uh, take away. What it is is that every time you have run the session, it will now say that um, it will have two dots in here and not go back to the zeros ready for time. So it's waiting for somebody to go in and press reset. Why it's doing that is uh, for a tanning salon, this this timer here will give out the information to the TMAX manager up front that it's dirty. And so an attendant has to come down and clean it, hit the reset button in order for it to be ready for uh, more time or for another session. And so, um, yeah. So let's remove that. Like that, it was always say P5 when you go to zero and you eliminate that feature. And reset to store. And then we have 19, which is our, and you can see, that's our uh, bed hour. That's the total hours, which is non-resettable. 26 is a very, very important one to note. Some tanning salons are using an FST or database to, uh, database system for uh, for starting their machines and that's not really super compatible with these machines uh, because this is of a it is of a newer era than those kind of systems and um, so this third-party interface means that something else can close contact the timing system of this bed and start the machine and so if we place this uh, parameter 26 here to 1, it's going to wait for two wires to be connected to each other uh, on, the, on, the, um, on the internal, uh, on this timer. And so if it's from an old salon, that's, this is probably what it could be if your timer here doesn't want to set time. If it doesn't respond on the time key, to put on time and then you can hit the start button. If that doesn't work, it's probably a parameter 26 that just needs to be set to zero. And so 27, this is more a parameter you can look at if you have a, uh, that if this is going into a tanning salon or again, also, you know, if you're programming something else, but this 232, if you're programming a IntelliTan timer, um, of another kind, let's say an Ambition or a, a Radius 252, which is still a uh, still very nice uh, equipment for the salons out there. And um, so 27 is the protocol, and 1 means Tmax. 
and and zero means until attain. So you will need to tell this timer what protocol are we talking about? What what kind of language are we talking about? And so for one, when the uh, this parameter is one, uh, it will talk T backs. And so if you're using it in a house, it doesn't matter. You don't you don't need to make any changes in here. And all the way up to thirty is on. So that means that our facial will by default be on. This machine has uh, 11 HRF facials, that's low pressure uh, facials. Uh, so, um, and it actually gives a really nice face tan. I, I like the, uh, the way that it looks uh, versus uh, many high pressures actually. And so, um, let's see, that's, that's it. And so to get out, Again, you just hit start, maybe five, five or six times. You can probably do less, and uh, that's pretty much it. And so how to operate this, of course, is that you just use the time key now, and then, bam. So now we didn't have it. Remember, we, we, we eliminated our, our our delay time and so I have this on a 110 circuit uh, 15 amps so I, I had to quickly turn off my facials here they pull about two and a half amp all together and so I'm still riding right there on the edge I want to say that without these uh, and just the top of the lamps here and, and so with the cooling and everything in the electronic system we still are pulling like about 17 amps so let me actually turn down and here you can control the the foot fan we're turning that all the way off and you can see your time counting down which is a nice feature that you have it right here by the face, uh, so you can just look up. You of course have to wear your goggles, and, but you can get goggles where you can uh, see sound through. And uh, now we're getting close here. So the two dots here, let's say it doesn't go straight to zero. These two dots um, just indicates that it's in a cool down mode now. So as long as it's cooling down, it's not going to allow you to set new time. And here we are, back to zero, just like we uh, we programmed it for, and uh, that's it for programming.